So hello everyone. So today we will move to the second last of the uh, introduction to scheduling in sequencing. Right, and so my name is also Wang Wing Kifu. So here in the class, uh, I will have the MIDI guide for you to using the C++ software because when we try when we try to solve the scalable problem usually last uh, the problem size is extremely large the number of variable in the scalable problem sometimes it can reach to the 2000 even to a million hundred sometimes it can be reached to a hundred million right so if we just use solve it manually so it's nearly impossible for us uh, to solve the problem more eff uh, effectively right so now here in order to help you to gear uh, have some tool that can be applied directly into the industry right so I will uh, install use to you the C++ software so this is just a mini guide and we already have the I already have right now the <coughs> uses for it so you can follow it step by step right and now uh, this software uh, had the student version in our department already have the license for this so you can ask some the our uh, lab technician member to help you to for the software installer right now so we can uh, quickly go to the container of the session into uh, this not First of all, right, I will try to help you to introduce about the basic the con basic contents of the software, right? How can what is the simplest way to write out the one code that to help to serve uh, uh, to solve the simple problem. And uh, the second one we will have some useful expression, some example, some code example and some important uh, question that relating to the how to write the program for this right. <coughs> so hey now we will move to the first section right the structure so here basically when we try to solve the scheduling problem we will have uh, create a new project in the C++ and the new, this new project usually create including uh, for file, right? The most important one will be the mod file. So here mod will be present for the model. It's used to declare the model and also declare parameter and declare variable in our model, right? And here the second one we will have the data file, right? It will usually that you can store the data directly in this data file. But most of the time the data file will be Responsible for make the connection between the data store in another data space, right? For here, same or here, you may be make the connection between your model with the data space in Excel, or maybe the data space store in Excel and also in the SQL or Oracle or something like this. And uh, it will also help write the output to the database file. The irresponsible for the write the output to the database file. And the uh, next one will be the usually that in uh, our cost the data will be stored in the Excel file, right? So it will be my Excel will be stored the data for the C++ program. And finally, we will have the file TST test file, right? Sometimes we need to interpret the results from the output of the C++ program. So the user can buy on the interpretation of the research and make the decision with it much more easier. Right? And all of the files must be put in the same folder when we make the project of the C++ project. So here, I have you to summarize some important keywords here. Right? And here we have the, some very common, uh, very familiar with you for some example. Uh, in will be present for the integer, 
the range, the plus will be represent for the real value number. And also we will have the divide, the keyword divide decision variable. It will have the common type plot, plot, plot in in plot and boolean, boolean will be represent for the binary. It means that it can take only the value of zero and one. <coughs> And uh, we also have some time in the structure of the program or uh, in the structure of the framework, we also have the preset up. Right, so some uh, common setting will be the cplate dot ep gap and cplate dot time limit. Right, so in the case of sign the problem is too last and uh, uh, easily it takes a lot of time for me, for example, maybe 3 hours or more than 3 hours to find the final solution and uh, sometimes you cannot wait for a long time like this and we only want to after maybe uh, 30 minutes they can uh, export the output so the solution output even though it's not the optimal but it's still acceptable so in this case that we will set the split dot time limit equal to 30 minutes and when it finishes the time 30 minutes if it already find the output Right, we can extract the result here and we have the keyword for the objective function so we have the maximize or minimize and uh, for the constraint use later we will have the keyword for all and we also have the setup for pop processing pop processing that means that when we already find out the optimal solution right, we can ask them to write out the final results or interpret the result into the file text here right. So this is the structure of the model file. We also have the structure of the data file, right? First of all, we must to make the connection, set connection here. I just make the example to connect for the uh, Excel file. So here I will have the set connection. This is the Excel file that we want to connect, and we assign it into the object data, right? And we also have, for example, if we have the capacity, we will be the parameter or we will be the data that we need for the model. So here we read it from the object data, the seed name, and from the range of he one up to B10. Now, if we have just one uh, less than three dimension array, right, we can write the final result directly into the seed. Like this, and this is the Excel file, right? And also the text file star, right? We will go to the system two uh, later. <coughs> now let's see. We will. I will give you more. The, well, we give you an example. So how can we write the symbol model in the CPLAT program? Right. Now let's see. So here you already study in the operation research or all one class, right? What about the knapsack problem? So now we consider very simple knapsack problem. But for item ties, where the parameter of weight benefit and maximum. But this time given as follow. We have weights. 1, 3, 4, 5, perfect. 3, 5, 7, 9, and also here we have the maximum number for it item ties, right? We we'll also have the size of the problem. Number in net of item type, parameter, benefit, the way, and I maximum quantities, and capacity maximum, capacity of the system. And here we also have the decision variable S, I. The number of item I will be adapted or selected. So our objective will be maximum the total of the benefit Y I multiply with X I, and we can create the sum for all the item. Number of item is selected must be greater than zero, greater or small or equal to zero, and smaller than or to the maximum available number. And uh, sorry here, it must be PI. Right. Oh, sorry, it must be where I, I must be the smaller than capacity. And so here, sorry, it must be PI, not the blue one. 
and now let's see the structure how can we solve it on C++ right now here first of all if I recommend that I need to declare the sign of the index first here I declare the sign of the num time here we have is in golden dot 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 right it's mean that we not uh, get the fixed value here because what we want to do is we we just want to do is we want to build up the very general model and after that when we change the size of the problem or we change the data this model will be also be applicable so this means that the user does not change anything here what they already what they really change is only on the data file and, and they don't want and we don't want them touch to our model because it including the logic and mathematical model and if they don't have any experience to handle with this sometime right they will be very confused and make some mistake on our model so here I will separate between the logic model and the instance of the model or the real data of the model so here everything does mean that this will be connected to some data here right in range we have one up to num time and here we also have delay between to the square brackets must be some range right why benefit a number of maximum number of each time and we also have capacity right and here we also have the decision variable and plus x time so be remember that usually that most of you will be uh, forgot the plus high here right and it's in time it will be less you to the k that's uh, unpowered problem so be, be careful with this the plus sign and now here I conduct the pre setup so here first of all you need to consider about the simplet that EP gap you need just to focus on simplet last time limit that means equal to 100 that means that I let the program to run maximum 100 seconds and after 100 seconds they must output the uh, so file solution um, to the user now let's see about the objective function objective function will be the maximize benefit multiple with the number of items that we adapted and sum for all the items in the range given right and we have the subject so here for all I in time we will have SI smaller than N9 and total why does we use for all the items must be smaller than capacity now let's see so basically if uh, it already enough from this to this it already enough for one basic model Right, but sometimes if I recommend that we need to interpret the result for the user otherwise they cannot uh, understand the result very clearly so to help them to understand or interpret to really understand to interpret the result I usually that we need to write out the uh, function execute for the proper set here and name it in the uh, right and right the result execute right result right now we create a new result.txt file now we realize the objective value right here this means that the total benefit here right and uh, for all i in time we realize the value of the product time i and here is i right so remember that the purple the purple here this means that is the constraint and here the black character here is represent for the variable it will be changed depending on the real value of the variable here and here we realize and after on we close the file so here we already transform the model mathematical model right into the simplex model so basically there is nothing difficult here 
in here now we need to make the connection right so here we have the that file that file and I already mentioned about that if we make the connection between the data and the some variable or parameter in the model file here we make the connection to the file knapsack data dot xlxx right and now we have them time we reach from this file at the six scala the position b1 here is we take the value of 4 right and we need the capacity from scala right b2 this will be take the capacity of 10 right so in case that the user they want to change the data if we separate between the here data excel file and also our model file so they don't need to adjust or modify any things in our model file now we need to also here we need to read the y the benefit and maximum number here y i read the y from a5 a2 up to a5 here right in the seat name one dimension here seat name one dimension in the same way i see the panel i read the benefit and also i read the maximum number right so here i already make the very simple illustration how can we uh, convert the data convert one model right under the uh, formula form like this into the rubber post like this right so here after you run with this you can find the result now we now we maybe we can consider the second example it's about the assignment problem here we have the four worker and four job and here we have the benefit when we assign worker one to job one we obtain the benefit of one right and on the logical side we will have the constraint that every job must be assigned to one worker and every worker must be in charge of one job we have to follow this i in data worker j in data of the job and we have the parameter pij so here now let's take a look at this since we here we have to index i and j so here we have only one index i right so here this will be required a uh, two dimensional data so for the pi chain the benefit of this now we consider as i say it will be binary right and we have the contain that uh, for on i so that's mean that in that of the worker uh, one worker only take one job in here here for on chase right one job is only done by one worker so now let's see so here we have to index i and j so we need to rain the first we worker rain in the second one we chop rain like this right and now benefit you you two range right worker range and job range and we also have the uh, decision here binary which we will represent by boolean and relating directly to worker and job we done the preprocessing set time limit right second one right we have the uh, objective function the benefits multiply with the weather the decision variable right and so here when we already come up with the result we need to write out or we need to put right uh, result here and here one thing about the final in the that file in the that file for example here it will already have the final solution of x right in kind of dimension of x is smaller than 
is smaller than or equal to 2, we can write down the result directly into the Excel file by the command like this. Here, it will be write down the S directly into the C tray for position A1 to D4. Right. So here, uh, basically, I already help you to represent uh, various um, symbol structure of how can we use the C plate to help us to uh, solve the mathematical problem, especially in scheduling sequencing. So now we can move fastly into the sum FAQ frequently asked question. Right, for example, here we have the question one. How can we uh, three dimensional data can be read from an Excel file? Right, so here we need to create a temporary one or two dimensional data for reading data from Excel file and convert them into the right form. Now, let's see here. Assume that we have one, we need uh, three dimensional data A, level one and product so here we have first range second range and the third range right so usually that we need to represent it or we need to unfold it in the some kind like this right and after that we can use the formula here to convert the three-dimensional data into two-dimensional data here maybe we will have the one or two class of the practice in class one last to practice this in class right so doing in the same way when we have the so we also have when I say three we also have the four right four dimensional data like this right we need also need to unfold into the proper form and after that we can convert it uh, this is the very traditional ways another way is we can use the tuple to read data directly Right, so the tuple will be uh, mentioned in the finals of the note. And here we have the question trace. All right, how can we set up the constraint for the index with symbol filter when using for all? Right, here we use the following format. For example, here on and facility C product, we set up the filter here. Right here, so it's only set up the constraint for k stat i smaller than j or some parameter that when i j equal to 0 or when parameter of i j greater than or equal to 0. Right. And here, remember that we can also use in the if then commands in the C plane, but remember that inside the if then command here. This must be the some data. It's also it only the relating to parameter, not variable, and allows into the logical constraints of the if. Here. And so here, this is relating to how can we fill up uh, the mathematical form model. So. In the first step, you can you don't need to uh, pay attention to it since we I have a very clear uh, guidance. So how can we set up this guy of constraints in the scheduling and sequencing? Also, in how to build the constraint guys. Right and here, we how can we extract the indication condition in C plate? It's some kind of like the if then condition, so we can use it like this. Right. And for the question 6, right, up to the question uh, 8, right, this is just some kinds of how can you write out and some. Uh, Example problem so that you can be used to practice by yourself. Right, another thing that relating to 
C plate A, how to use the the ball, right? So sometimes now let's see the problem. Sometimes it is exhausted to enumerate on data due to data size. In this case, it's better to use the ball approach to handle this. The tuple can understood at the user defined time, right? Or the, this tuple is especially useful when the data is spare. Step in using tuple, define tuple, create the data set, correspond to tuple, list data parameter with use tuple at index, and declare decision variable with use tuple at index, right? So here, let's let back to the assignment problem. So when the assignment problem Assignment wrote on 18 chapter 10 worker, right? We usually that need to write out if we use the K up declare the own the full option, we need to 10 by 10. Uh, 10 by 10 array is about 100 uh, element, right? So the city let now but let's consider the situation when we have the 1000 worker and 1000 jump. So here we need to declare a uh, 1 million entries, right? So but when we have 1000 worker and 1000 job, a lot of the combination between the worker and the job is restricted, right? So this this letter the the uh, unnecessary to declare the this time problem or this time data so we can reduce this by using the tuple right here first of all um this is the example of how can we use tuple for example here tuple name data time attribute one attribute two send a tuple float decision variable now let's see here. We have five job, five worker, right? So for worker one, we can assign it into the job one up to job four, right? And correspond will be the benefit, right? Here, job worker two only can be assigned to job two and job three, right? And here, we this is the one. Pay up this and this are uh, defined at a one support. Now let's see how can we write down the program. Hey, num chop num worker as user. We have a tuple define a tuple worker and chop. Data time in worker, data time in chop. We have the range chop, we have number, and we have the set of tuple worker chop set. It will be read later. On the data file, we also have the benefit assigned with the worker job set here and also read later. And we have the binary variable x associated with the tuple set here. Right now, let's see maximum sum on possible tuple represent in the Worker job set, right? We will have benefit multiply with the variable. We also have the constraint that's for G in job, right? Every job will be assigned only one. For on W in worker, every worker will can only take one job, right? So this will be the finish of the model. Now we consider this. How can we get out the result? Right? So for each tuple in the worker job set, possible tuple in the worker job set, if XR equal to 1, that means that the assignment is conducted. Right? So we need to write down here. Right? We refer directly to the attribute name. And we speak the worker, right? The attribute name with it will be the job, and we need to write down the value of this here and here, right? And here, worker job set we read from C2 from A2 up to B13. A2 
right a to he to be nothing he right and uh, he so basically that's I uh, so I already show you how can we use the C plate a very powerful software to solve now the scheduling and sequencing problem I hope that you will practice more at your home because in the best way that you already reduce or review with some example here question 7 right and uh, question 6 remember that you need to type by yourself don't just copy and pay the cost because it will be create the error of Unicode form right so type by yourself and when you type it right, think about it yeah so this is the end of the class 2 of the scheduling and sequencing